Well, I think, uh, you know, it, it, uh, the, the, the central government, I think they clearly understand the issue. And we have been actually seeing an unprecedented, unprecedented of, you know, sort of support on uh, like the one trillion that being announced. Uh, it, and on top of that, it looks like that we will have more, you know, sort of support from the central government on not just on the broader market, but also on individual developers. But I have to say, this is something that we need to, you know, sort of get it resolved before we go into fundamental. Because we all talk about, you know, valuation was weak, it's cheap, but, you know, people, you know, still do not sort of coming back to the market because people still are not 100% sure whether this sort of macro uncertainty, the structural issues relating to property, relating to LGFV, eventually will really get resolved. I think that's important. And of course, the domestic sentiment was also dampened and affected by it. Yeah, and you mentioned that domestic sentiment, and this is something that, you know, I've been bringing up for the past week or so. <laughs> because it's, it's always the confidence issue that everyone points to, right? That's why people aren't speculating. People are worried about the property market, the negative wealth effect, all of these different things. But when you have something like the, the shadow banking sector and what's happening right now with Zongzhe and the potential that anyone that has their money in any kind of fund whatsoever, you've, you've got to imagine there's going to be redemption runs and, and the like, that irrespective of the kind of the, the, the earnings that we get through from a number of these companies, apart from maybe one today that <laughs> absolutely blew it out of the park and saw some big upside, that you can't sustain an upside rally in any kind of asset without there being, you know, more positivity, even if the policy supports on route, but it just doesn't seem to be that there's enough. Well, I think, uh, look at it that way. I think the shadow banking, you know, sort of issue, you know, has, has been, you know, something that they actually try to tackle. And uh, at the moment, I think the, you know, what you mentioned, it's, you know, certain particular, you know, sort of private equity funds, maybe, you know, uh, they, they were probably involved in property related sectors and now, you know, sort of becoming a bigger uh, problem. And of course, investor, you know, so putting money in it, you know, they were not happy and that would affect the sentiment. Having said that, um, we, we do not expect central governments to sort of being a saviour to support these individual funds because they have their own issue. But having said that, on the broader local government's financial vehicles, which is the LGFV, I think the, you know, central governments already have a strategies on to, you know, sort of partly refinancing, extending the maturity of it. Basically, they already have, you know, sort of refining strategies for it. But I have to say, I know that this is very early. We are yet to see whether they're really able to tackle this. I think that's the reason why market is still, you know, sort of concerned about these sort of broader, you know, sort of debt uh, or earlier the leverage issues related to the property mm -hmm. sector. I, I would imagine that